Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the self-starting siphon. As always, adult supervision is required. What you'll need for this experiment is bendy straws, a glass or jar, and scissors. I'm going to show you four different kinds of sections, starting off with the more traditional one, where you take a tube or a straw and place it in a liquid, suck at the end of the straw, and the liquid will flow upward down the tube under the pull of gravity. And depending on what kind of liquid, it could taste really, really bad. So that's siphon number one. Number two siphon is a self-starting siphon with the help of your finger. By having the water all the way to the edge of the glass on the very top, take your finger and place it on the end of the straw, and then place the straw all the way down as far as possible and release your finger and the siphon will start. As you release your finger, the water will rise up, go over the edge, and continue to go, and go until the water level is the same level at the end of the straw. The third siphon is completely self-starting siphon. No finger or mouth sucking on it. It's an M-shaped straw, which I'll show you later how to make, where the first hill in the M is lower than the second hill in the M, as you can see with my fingers there. With your glass completely full of water all the way to the, the lip, you put the straw in completely all the way, and what happens is the water goes over the lower part of the M and picks up so much speed that it carries over to the higher part of the M, and then it starts to siphon. Siphon number four I learned from my Uncle Bob on his farm is this is how he watered his corn. By moving the tube up and down very rapidly and tapping the other end with your finger creates a pressure difference that causes the liquid to flow from a high pressure to a low pressure and thus into the submerged end of the tube. This will bring the water up the tube, over the peak, and down the tube right out the end. This is very easy with a straw, but when you're doing it with a heavy tube and hundreds of rows of corn, it is very work intensive. When making the M, you want to have three different straws that you're going to cut and, and using the bending part of the straw. Uh, that might take you a couple times to get the exact size, but once you do, you cut the inside of the first straw right there. By squeezing it, it'll make the end a little bit smaller, and this will allow you to slide the other middle straw into it a lot easier. And then once that's in, take this, the other side of the straw with a little bit longer end, and cut that so you can squeeze that part of it and then put that into the other straw making the M. And so when you once you have this done, you're going to measure to make sure that the left hand side of the M is a little bit lower than the right hand side. So as you can see here, my left hand part of the M, the hill, is a little bit lower than the right hand side. And once you have that, then you're ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.